Now, a summer house in your garden should be so much more than just a dumping ground for your garden furniture over winter. And there's such a large range of houses to pick from. This one is eight feet by eight feet with an integral veranda. You've got a lot of space to entertain in here. What I do like about this one, the two wide doors glazed halfway and the side opening window because that gets lots of ventilation in. You can probably see from the golden yellow, maybe with a twist of orange, that colour that it's been dip treated. Now what that means is you've got a guarantee for 10 years against rot. You don't have to do anything for the first couple of years but then give it a coat of paint every two years. You'll probably want to do that anyway to keep up with the fashion trends in the garden. But I want to show you this one over here. To me it's quite a traditional looking summer house. It's eight by six and when you get inside you can see there's loads of space so you can get a couple of chairs and a table. There's a terrific range of summer houses available and each one of them has pressure treated bearers underneath to keep the air circulating. You do need to put them on level firm ground so a concrete pad or hard standing is great. Some of them even have base kits available to buy and that evens out any unevenness you've got in your ground. Now, construction wise, some are Tongan groove, some are overlap, but everyone's been treated with some kind of preservative and they've all got top quality roofing felt on top. It's important that they're really easy to put up. A couple of people, it's always easy with two people here, maybe three, four hours and you get one of these up and running. There really are more than just dumping grounds for your garden furniture over winter. These are focal points in your garden.